after Kevin left, you guys almost immediately went on an 11-0 run, and I think you had all five assists and all five baskets. Was that something in your mind where you consciously decided, all right, this game might need me at this juncture, or was that kind of just the way the game played out? Uh, a little bit of both. <clears throat> I already had a... Um... Uh, I feel like it was being aggressive, especially in that, in that third quarter. Uh, we found something that we liked to play, so I just continued the same play. We was initially supposed to run a play for Kevin <clears throat> um, out of the timeout, but then whatever happened, happened. <laughs> and so we just had to you know, go back to what was working. Uh, guys made plays. I was trying to be aggressive, and, you know, we, uh, we basically closed the game out. And second to follow up, you talked about being, you were being aggressive and as you were also on Friday. I'm curious, earlier in the season, I know we're early, but is it fair to say that you might have been hunting for like the mismatches? In other words, hunting for the guy to pick on, you know, yeah. a little much, and then now you're just attacking whoever's in front of you? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. And um, <clears throat> I think the confidence and just my rhythm and all that's coming back, you know, simultaneously together. And, uh, it's just it feels much, much better. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I kind of knew that I was going to have a slow start just because I, I wasn't, you know, playing a lot. But uh, I knew the work was going to catch up, and, and ultimately I was going to get back to where I needed to be. So uh, game by game, I'm just, uh, I'm just feeling better, more confident, extra, extra pep in my step. Um, Kev, let's start off, um, describe the play that, that led to the ejection. Uh, I try. <laughs> they don't want you to hold it. Oh, no, crazy today. I tried to uh, run through the screen, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that was just a result of me trying to blow the screen up. Uh -huh. I definitely, uh, I mean, from looking at it at the tape, it looked like I extended a little bit, but. I was just trying to blow the screen up, get over it, fight through, but you know, it is what it is. That said, you get ejected in the third. As a team, though, you still guys, you guys still go out and shoot over 65%, which is a franchise record. Really? What does that say about the growth that you guys have developed? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think we started off the game with a nice flow and uh, on the defensive side, and we moved the ball to each other on offense. and. We got five guys in double figures. Um, that's usually a good formula for us. But I think we just had a good flow and rhythm all game, which uh, was able to we was able to see the ball go on the rim. Kevin, as, as James has kind of been finding his rhythm after really not being able to play during the summer, we've seen him play seven games. You've seen him every day for a month. Is it a process that's kind of been evident to you along the way? It's interesting because I didn't feel like. He was round. I felt like he was in good shape when we came into camp, you know, working out with him this summer. Uh, you know, I felt like he looked good to me. I just think it's a matter of getting comfortable with the NBA game again, the physicality, the quickness of the game. I mean, we all have an adjustment period when we come back from the all season of playing the NBA style of basketball. It's always evolving. It's so fast, so quick. So it may take us some time, all of us, mentally, all players, to you know, figure out, you know, what that bump and grind is like again. And it usually takes a few games, but you're starting to see around the league everybody getting more and more comfortable with the style of play. Kevin, you guys had a, a three-point lead at the end of the first quarter, and then Steve comes in with LaMarcus, Javon, Patty, DeAndre, and Bruce. What, what do you like about that lineup? Um, I like that we got <clears throat> there's a good balance of players on that group. We got, you know, scores in LaMarcus um, and Patty um, and defenders who can cut, make plays. Um, and long athletic guys and uh, DB, Bruce, and who was the last guy again? Who? And, and uh, Javon, yeah, DB, Bruce, and Javon, they like, you know, athletic, quick um, guys that can get out and play in space and great defenders. So, yeah, I mean, we, uh, I like what we've seen with that group. Um, sure, we're going to keep trying to fine tune what that looks like, uh, but tonight, we put pressure on them on the offensive side of the ball and play great defense. Uh, Kevin, you, you've said a lot of nice things about LaMarcus and how good it is to have him back. But that second quarter, he came out there, he hit his first five shots and, and kind of got some separation right there that that you never lost the rest of the game. Uh, you know, What can you say about about what he's delivering to this team and, and kind of stepping up to fill a void? 
Yeah, he just plays that. Uh, he's like that common force. You know, you can throw the ball to him in the post. He'll slow stuff down. He's a good passer. Obviously a great mid-range shooter. Good back-to-the-basket player. Um, so I'm just about confidence. And, you know, it looks like that's what we all were worried about, coming back from what he came back from, how he would look physically and, you know, timing-wise. But, <laughs> you know, some of the things you just, you know, it's just in your it's just in your DNA, you know. So him coming out there, knocking down shots, just knowing how to play, you know, is there. I'm curious, Kevin, after you guys still had a double-digit lead even after you left, but immediately after that, you guys had an 11-0 run, and I think James had five, all five of the assists. <clears throat> a, what's your reaction to you know, seeing him kind of put his stamp on the game immediately after you leave, kind of stepping up for his team in that fashion? Yeah, I mean, uh, I want to take credit and say I ignited my team, and, get, and, and my leadership uh, was the reason why they were able to go on that 11-0 run. Um, you know, so I ignited the crowd with me getting kicked out and my team. So, yeah, um, but James is a controller of the game. He understands the game and put people in good positions. And it's not a surprise that he can take us on the run so fast. And following up on that, is it fair? I mean, obviously, a lot's been made about, you know, the fact that he had to rehab over the summer and he didn't get to really play. But I'm curious, is it fair to say that in the earlier stages of the season, he was really hunting like the mismatch? you know, like the pick-on guy. And now he's just attacking whoever's in front of him. It doesn't seem to matter. Is that a fair I mean, way to paint it? Yeah, I mean, it's a balance. I mean, we still want to, you know, it's going to be games where we feel like if we can use a guy and pick on a guy or, you know. I think it's just a field thing for James, and he understands that. And Tonight he made the right decisions. And, um, you know, when you see the ball going the rim early, too, it gives you a lot of confidence. And I think tonight he's just, you know, when guys switching from three, that let me know that he in a good place. You know, it wasn't no rim ends. It was like his body is right, his mechanics is right, and he knocking down shots with ease. And it looked incredible tonight. So, you know, he just keep building. And, you know, and I know he 